All right, guys, you already know what it is. Better by the day, get a little bit better each and every single day. And today is Friday, and this is the first time I'm looking at myself, and I look like I need to shave a little bit. I do not like what this looks like. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say, so uh, last video, I think I ended it, like, on a little bit of a sad note. And um, I was just, dude, I was so tired. Those three days were pretty tough. I had been going pretty hard. So um, I want to apologize for that, but we're jumping right back into it today, getting ready to go, you know, Friday, my favorite day of the week. Chest and arms, bro. Just today's a fun day more than obviously I'm going to try and get better. But today's like a rep PR day, not a low number PR day. Um, chasing the pump, whatever feels good. Just going out there, crushing chest, crushing arms. Um, it's a long one usually and I have a lot of fun with it. But uh, yeah, like I said, I like to do this day on Friday. This started back uh, back when I was um, when I was at junior college playing baseball. We practice all more, or we'd out of class all morning, practice all afternoon, come home and eat, and then I would go meet some friends at the gym on Friday night. And uh, dude, we used to be in there like for four hours, just having a great time, chest and arms, laughing, um, lifting, you know, just what it is, like having fun. That's one of the best parts of lifting is you can go in there Friday night, and uh, you don't need to be out destroying your body doing things that are bad for you. You can just be at the gym having fun with your friends. And uh, those are some of the best Friday nights I've ever had. You know, look forward to them all week. Um, they were a really good time. So yeah, that's why I do it today. Kind of reminds me of those times. Um, as my schedule works out right now, I usually do it in the morning. Uh, just works better for me. Um, so yeah, dude, just super excited to get into it. Um, feeling feeling a little bit of a bounce back from last week. Or for not last week, but Wednesday. Um, I feel a little bit better, a little bit more energetic, not hurting as much. So I think today's going to be a good workout and um, I'll see you guys in there. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. All right, start off right here, bro. Um, this is another 245 for 10. This is no spot. And uh, this is big numbers for me, bro. 225 for 10 was like a lifetime goal for me. So the fact that I'm moving on to things that are even bigger and better than that is really cool, bro. I didn't even get a spot. I could have maybe tried to go for an 11th. I don't really think I had it. And um, dude, I'm just I'm just really happy with the way this is going. And uh, next week or next chest day on my like lower rep day, I just I want to be able to um, go for a PR in that instance. So I didn't really necessarily need to totally kill it right here. And I didn't have a spot. So I stopped at 10. And I was just really happy with that. Then I move on to incline dumbbells after that. Um, this is a uh, Dude, this is 90s for a set of seven. I think this is a PR for me too. Like, um, again, bro, this one, this is just so hard to say, and I'm gonna go into the next exercise still talking about this. Is like when you when you go for something and you really exhaust the muscle, like in your first exercise, you're probably not gonna be able to PR in your next exercise because you're already at a pretty high level of fatigue. And I always do incline dumbbells after a first compound movement. So to go there and then still get that for seven is something that's pretty important to me. And I feel really happy with that. And, um, so like nineties for seven inclined dumbbell press is good for me. And it all depends on like the angle of the bench and this and that and all that and whatnot. And then here's just a burnout set on the incline machine press. Um, I'm really trying to build my upper chest. I think this is one of the best exercises for it. Cause you can just crank out partials. You can crank out half reps. This is on the way back down. Um, just really burning it out, really feeling the muscle, um, really feeling the muscle strain at the end. Those partial reps, I feel almost more than the full range of motion reps. Uh, here, hopped into some dips. I'm probably going to start maybe including these more again because it's, again, dips, pull-ups, push-ups. Those are the things that everyone like knows how to do and likes to see and whatnot. So I'm probably going to start including these a little more. I was somewhat happy with it. It doesn't really matter to me right now. Um, then I went into here, here's bicep curls. Uh, I think this is 125 because I think this bar is 35 pounds, 45 on each side. Again, this is just for fun doing this to start off biceps, get the blood flowing, really try and throw some weight around. I'm always, I'm always proud. Dude, I always just love to throw weight around on biceps, make me feel good. And then going here, the again, 125 skull crushers. I mean, dude, these are, uh, these are tough for me. I probably don't get quite the range of motion I want to. Um, and, uh, these are a little scarier, so I don't necessarily just try to throw the weight around cause you can't. So, um, happy with however many I get here. Um, this isn't my main tricep growing exercise. I just like to do it, dude, little rich Piana. Um, that's how rich Piana used to do it was that superset right there. So I like to do it. Here's some tricep extensions. This is just burning out, throwing around. I think I got like a hundred on the stack. You guys know every stack is a little bit different, but, um, 
no little tricep burnout just wanted to share with you guys this i really feel it towards the end this gets the arms like pumped and ready to go uh before the end of my workout and then here i move into some machine biceps i used to never really do bicep machines but starting to really like things like this especially some over the head biceps i don't really get this movement anywhere else so um this is something that i've definitely added to uh my bicep exercises and this one i really like you know just switching up hand position switching up levels um overhead biceps it, it just it's new to me i get a good pump uh feels great i i really like it and then so moving on dude we're gonna do a little pump check here uh, i think this is how i might start doing the pump checks from now on is um like this uh yeah this is just in the like neon room or whatever the lighting wasn't as good today as i thought it was gonna be and um i'm not necessarily loving the look of this uh guy in the background uh, it's fine. I mean, dude, this was, uh, the lighting's bad in this room. If the other light's not on, I should have put the other light on, but it's still, uh, it felt good. It looks good. And, um, yeah, I've had a pretty good pump that day. Uh, just not in love with the lighting. All right, guys, what's going on? Post cardio talk for today. Little pump check. Um, feels good. Feels great. Um, yeah, today was chest and arms. Uh, that was a couple hours ago. Now I just got some cardio in, um, and I'm sharing my after cardio thoughts. Bro, I don't know. The cardio on the weekend just feels better, feels good. I take a rest day yesterday from everything from the gym. So today the workout was good and the cardio was good, which I was really struggling with the cardio earlier in the week. But like I said, bro, this is this is the message I want to reiterate about not just cardio, but gym and not even just gym, but life in general is, is bro, when I started doing cardio, 0.2 miles on the treadmill. That was it, bro. I was I think I was running at like an eight minute and 30 second pace. Could barely get it in. Now, even going out, I went out to the track on Wednesday. I'm hurting. I'm in pain. I was in pretty big pain. I think I got 3.1 miles in, but that's with shins hurting, feeling tired, feeling fatigued, long week, finals week for me too. So just something you have to really be proud of, bro. Just winning, winning the smallest battles, just one step at a time. Just keep fighting, keep getting there, keep getting better, keep growing. But yeah, so then to get into the lift for today, um, felt pretty good I, I dude i just chest and arms is really good you know there's like kind of the you know like pump chasing and getting better today i kind of try and do a little of both i um i didn't include a set with the hundreds bro i went so this is the thing bro you know i'm repping out i'm repping out on bench and then i go over to the incline press and you know it's hard to tell because if i give it 110 percent on bench or maybe even that little extra i get that little extra rep someone spots me helps me with another partial then i'm even more fatigued when i go over to the incline press and just depending on like just like on varying like wait times and this and that um you know i uh i hit the god what was it i'm gonna have to check but i think it was the 90s for a set of seven which is really good for me and then um, I tried to go up to the hundreds and like normally I can usually hit the hundreds for a set of three to four. I got like one and a half and that was just it. Just really pushing, trying to get it, couldn't get it, dropped the weight. But um, that's just like another thing I want you to keep in mind is like you're, you are still getting better in those circumstances the majority of the time. But if you if you can't like push that extra rep, it might just because you've put so much into what's already come before. So just keep that in mind when you're when you're working, you can't get caught up on you can't get caught up on small failures or small victories. You just have to keep going and keep working and eventually they lead to the bigger victories. And like I said, bro, when I started running, it's hard to even see tangible growth as you do it. But I started at barely being able to run like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 miles. And now on my off days, I'm running three. So, but like that process to get from A to B, it just, it's so hard to see the growth throughout. So you just have to, you have to stay consistent and true to the journey and just hope it all works out in the end. So yeah, those are my thoughts for today. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, good chest and arms day and yeah, peace.